Hey students of Seneca, um, today I'm going to be running through the reactions of alkenes as part of the GCSE chemistry revision series. Make sure you check out the episode on alkenes for background because um, today we're going to be going through the different types of reactions they have. So let's get started. Alkenes. Now, if we remember, an alkene has a carbon to carbon double bond. Okay. And we're going to go over some key terminology to do with reactions before we get started. Um, the first word is a functional group. Now a functional group is a group of atoms that determines how an organic compound will react. So the functional group in alkenes is a C double bond C, a carbon to carbon double bond. The most, one of the most common reactions that alkenes undergo is an addition reaction. And in these reactions, the carbon to carbon double bond opens up and allows new atoms to bond to the carbon. Okay. So that's an addition reaction. It's a very typical reaction for alkenes. A very good example is the reaction of ethene with steam to produce ethanol. Ethanol is alcohol. So that's what you find in like your vodka bottle um, um, or your parents' vodka bottle, I should say. Um, <laughs> so alkenes and water, they will react to produce, uh, ethene and steam will react to produce ethanol. So this is an alkenes and water reaction. This requires a phosphoric acid catalyst in, and water has to be in the form of steam. So the overall reaction would be ethene plus steam goes to ethanol. The symbol equation would be C2H4 goes to H2O plus C2H5OH. Now, alkenes can also react with oxygen. And this reaction is ethene plus oxygen goes to carbon monoxide plus carbon plus water. This is a combustion reaction, but it's incomplete. So the smoke, the flame is going to be really smoky, um, and that's because of the carbon in it. And also, we're producing carbon monoxide, which is a is odorless but very deadly. Now, alkenes can also react with halogens in addition reactions. Now, halogens is, are all of the elements in Group Seven of the periodic table, so chlorine, bromine, iodine, all that malarkey. So. Um, this gives us a really useful test for differentiating between alkenes and alkanes, because if we get some bromine water, which is just some, water, some bromine in water, surprise, um, it's orange. And if we add an alkene to it, um, the alkene can react with the bromine. And this causes the formation of dibromo, uh, a dibromo alkane. And the bromine water will go from colorless, from orange to colorless. So one more time, when we add an alkene to bromine water, the bromine water goes from orange to colorless. Okay, and this is a really useful test to distinguish between alkanes and alkenes. Um, so this reaction is it's a, it's a really important one. Um, another important reaction of alkenes is an addition reaction to hydrogen, and this requires a nickel catalyst. So ethene can react with hydrogen to produce ethane, and adding hydrogen atoms um, are added across a carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond, and this reaction is called hydrogenation. So you might see that in like a lot of spreads, like um, spreads that are like butter, have hydrogenated fats in them, and basically we add hydrogen um, via an addition reaction. So let's quickly review those different reactions, because there was a lot to take in. If we react an alkene with water, we get alcohol, an alkene with oxygen, that's a combustion reaction, and we get carbon monoxide, carbon and water. If we do a hydrogenation reaction and react an alkene with hydrogen, we produce an alkane. So if we reacted ethene with hydrogen, we would get ethane. And alkene plus bromine yields a dibromoalkane and a colorless solution. Key thing is alkene plus bromine water takes an orange solution and makes it colorless. So let's go over some key terminology. A functional group, do you remember what that is? That's a group of atoms that determines the nature of the reactions of an organic compound. And an addition reaction, that is when a double bond opens up, allowing, a new, allowing new atoms to bond, okay? And let's go over that test for alkenes again, because it's very important. If we mix an alkene with bromine water, the water will go from orange to colorless. If we put an alkane in bromine water and then we shake it up, there'll be no color change. It will stay orange, okay? Now, do remember the name of the catalyst needed for alkenes to react with hydrogen? It's going to be nickel, okay? 
It's going to be nickel. So that runs through the key reactions that alkenes undergo. Hope it was useful. Let me know what you think. Make sure you go over this a few times because there's a lot to take in. And good luck with all of your revision.